Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm doing update number four for my Most Isley build series. Um, before this video really starts, I just want to just apologize for uh, not uploading uh, anything tattooing related for a month. I know I said when I started that I would be doing, uh, you know, like weekly videos and then I took a, like a month off. Um, but basically the reason was I didn't have any parts and I, I couldn't really get anything done in LED so I, did, I couldn't really just make any progress um, that I thought I could show. Um, but with that out of the way I want to start into the video. So basically what you're looking at right now is just the figs that I'm planning on using in the mock. Uh, it's got you know, obviously just some random uh, people as well as like the stormtroopers and everything like that and as well as the back obviously, but um, I did just want to mention quickly. I got the uh, Tatooine dome uh, I'm gonna try and use that as like the weird dome roof thing of a building uh, So that might look pretty cool and then in the back too um, I built this I don't remember if I showed it or not But I'm, I'm working on a building I'm liking how it looks so far, but couldn't really get too much progress on it. I need to change out those cylinders for just regular one by ones. Um, and also, like you'll see right here, uh, this is the technique I'm going to try and use for the cantina. Basically, what this is is two plates uh, with a tile stacked on top of it. And I got this from Brick Bard on Instagram. But uh, yeah, you'll see right here, just like you. If you take two plates in a, in a tile and then just like organize those correctly and angle them at like a 45 degree angle, you can get um, a perfect, like a really nice technique. And you just slide in a tile um, and then, yeah, it looks actually pretty, pretty similar to Tatooine's uh, cantina floor. Um, I think the squares should be a little smaller, but... I mean, I think it's pretty, like, pretty much perfect, if you ask me. So, um, obviously, I do have Wooher on here, uh, standing on a stud, um, but... Yeah, so, basically, I did get a haul uh, in the month that I didn't make any videos. Um, I just went to see if they had any tattooing parts, um, and uh, they did not. But uh, they did have the Easter parts, so I'm glad I went. Uh, I got some Grant Davis leaves, um, basically just the new, like, leaf piece, but... Uh, um, yeah, so I got some of those. I got some bars, new grass. Uh, I got a, they had some like cool pink flowers, so I decided to grab some in case I did like a yavin or something. And then I did get some bricks with studs on the side, as you'll see. And uh, yeah, I got some like just random pieces kind of to fill in the uh, extra space, like uh, one by one stud tiles. But um, yeah, moving on to the next cup, you'll see it's empty for the top half. Uh, I'll show you that later, but I got uh, some carrot stem tops, like the green ones. Uh, I got like half a cup of that, and then I got some actual carrots and uh, the like lime green uh, curve slopes, just because I thought it would be you know kind of interesting to do techniques. Uh, there's some texturing with that, um, but you can see the top of that was based of the cup was basically filled with those uh, clear studs. They had those on the wall. So I thought I may as well pick some up, uh, as well as these red things I'm showing you right here. Um, don't really know what to call them, but I guess they're kind of like curved slopes, uh, arches or something. Basically, they just fill in that area. Um, you can tell there's like a heck ton of those showing. Um, but I got those because I didn't have enough of them. And they're probably only like a cent or two on Bricklink, but I mean, they had them, so may as well. Um, and then they're just covered up by the, you know, you can see the light gray, those two light gray things, they get covered by those, so, um, they don't get shown the color, so I just decided to pick them up. Um, also you can see, I did redo the, uh, guns, the blasters, I guess you can call them. I'm really happy with this, actually. Um, I got the two, uh, two components of the guns, which before I only had the one barrel and I didn't really like that so glad I could redo that um, and you can kind of see the, uh, the obviously the ramp still works but I like the uh, round 
uh, boat tile, I'm pretty sure it's what they're called. I like that better for that area. Um, and obviously, you know, the rest of the shuttle is pretty much the same, um, except for like what I'll show you in LDD. Um, but I couldn't really finish or really work on that too much in real life. Um, but basically what you're seeing right now, this is actually Lewis Kiwi on Instagram's design of uh, Luke, uh, Luke's a land speeder from Tatooine. So obviously, I mean, it's most likely you got to have Luke's land speeder. Um, this is fig scale, like mini fig scale, like perfect, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it's crazy because it's like a third, or not a third, but like two thirds or a half of the size of the Lego sets. Um, but it looks super nice. It's all like flat and snot and it's like super nice uh, techniques and stuff. But as you can see, some pieces are not in the right colors or just missing on it all together. So I uh, obviously still have to order those. Um, but yeah, so it's just really nice overall. I just made up some random thing for the back because they don't really have any uh, actual like designs for that. As far as I could tell, I couldn't find any pictures on Instagram or anywhere or uh, Google. Um, but that's just kind of what he had for the broken, uh, I guess, engine? I mean, I don't really know. Uh, but it does two, two figs. It's got pretty nice interior. Um, and, uh, yeah, I did actually make a little mod, you can see with these cheese slope things, um, they're not connected and they kind of slide around, but I do think it's worth it for the somewhat round look that they, uh, give off and the, uh, dark gray one is supposed to like represent a, a actual, uh, dent, not really a dent, but just like a mechanical detail that is exposed on the actual ship. So. Really nice design there by Lewis. Uh, can't wait to order the correct colored parts for that. And uh, yeah, so let's just hop right in to the LED file for the shuttle. All right, so this is uh, the shuttle right here. I did a lot of stuff to it, um, but probably the first thing you'll notice is the stand and the back wings. So basically, um, if you just jump into the new engine design, Basically, what I did was I'm going to try and use uh, trans light blue grills. Um, that's what these pieces are right here that gives them the texture. That's actually like super accurate to the actual engines. And if you're wondering, like if I hide this arch right here, this isn't technically connected to anything, but you can slide like tiles into arches, which is probably also what I'm going to try and do for the, some of the doors on Tatooine. Um, but the engines just look really nice. Um, super happy with them, but obviously still have to like finish off some of the stuff on the bottom there. Um, but basically, if we look at just the full bottom, I added in some light gray kind of highlights, I guess. And I'm not completely done doing this, obviously, but um, I added in some light gray highlights to just kind of uh, match kind of more with you know the light gray lines and stripes on just the side of the ship. And I added in some pieces uh, to give it texture. These things, I don't even know what they are, but they're, I mean, I know obviously they're cheese slips in this, but um, on the actual shuttle, they are just kind of, maybe they're searchlights or something. I don't know, but I thought I'd add them anyway. Obviously, you can tell the uh, interior uh, is still, you know, what it was. Um, I do actually. You can technically see through there. It's kind of interesting, but um, basically, yeah. So the interior still works. Um, you can see the new guns actually with the correct coloring. I'm pretty happy with them. Uh, they obviously look a lot nicer than the old ones, and everything like that. So, um, I did actually notice there was two different kinds of brackets. Uh, there was some with like round edges and some. That didn't have round edges that it was just flat edges so I'm gonna use those because um, they obviously look a lot nicer there I think um, and all of this stuff you'll see this is all just for the stand um, just kind of so the stand and everything is secure and uh, you know Technic makes everything more secure so um, yeah but I'm gonna just go ahead and move the stand out of the way um, 
and then we can just kind of see what the uh, actual stand looks like there but the underside the way this all works really is there's just two uh, little bits and I'm gonna remove these two tiles right here but there are two bits that I can pull off that I'll open up these four holes that obviously the stand goes into um, and I'm gonna actually grab those right here uh, yes okay so I'm gonna grab these right here pull those on um, they do add texture to the bottom as well as obviously you know being functional so I'm glad with how I think they turned out uh, they add you know a little bit more depth or not depth but like they go a little bit better with the uh, two cheese slopes in the front uh, let me try and close the door uh, I don't know how well this is gonna work. LD is not the best. Um, yeah, there we go. I think that's good enough. So, yeah. So basically, um, going back to the uh, like removable part. Um, basically, they just line up nicely. I think with the cheese slopes, uh, they you know look a little may make the cheese slope stand out a little bit less and i think that's pretty good um also i like the back hatch here you'll remember from the last update technically is supposed to open but i mean it's just such a small like look at that it's just such a small area that you know it wouldn't really function and wouldn't make any sense to there's no interior and uh yeah i think it just looks a lot nicer just in general having it be just regular slopes and um yeah so i think I'm, I'm i'm happy with that i think i feel like that's good enough i think that's warranted um but obviously the door's still open you can still use the landing gear um but uh yeah so moving on to the back section um you'll notice this is like a little bit weird of a transition um basically this stuff is all on a bracket um because it has to be half a stud pushed out uh, it's kind of hard to explain but if i pull it around and just zoom it in i think you'll be able to tell a little bit better um you can see there's actually no gap right there how it is it's completely flush and basically the reason is i had to push it out half a stud using brackets so glad that that all worked out um you know i made uh i made sure that that wouldn't have a gap and uh yeah, so moving down the wing, all the like the light gray stuff is pretty accurate. Uh, it's got the correct markings from the actual shuttle. I'm um, pretty happy with just the overall looks of the wings. Uh, you know, pretty uh, fulfilling, I think. Pretty uh, exciting to just be able to get that much progress done on the back of the ship. And, uh, you know, got a new... Uh, tile there to keep the whole you know tile aesthetic um, but yeah so that is just about it I think for the update um, you know I think the shuttle is coming along pretty well uh, basically all I have to do is just finish the internals uh, of the you know shuttle obviously uh, there we go get it back to normal um but it's got its display stand the back wings now um so yeah basically just got to finish the internals and then do the kind of the roof the top area um and then the top wing i think is just about it all right so thank you guys so much for watching i know this probably wasn't the best uh most entertaining video uh, i did make this in a day i just pushed it off to the last minute really so um, yeah, but I will try to do a weekly updates. I'm not totally sure if that's actually going to happen, but um, I'll try and make it uh, at least like, you know, one week as a gap. So, yeah, but thanks for watching. See you guys in my next video. Goodbye. <laughs>